In this equation, we have MgCl2 plus K2CO3. That's magnesium chloride plus potassium carbonate. And this is a double displacement reaction. The K replaces the M, and we end up with KCl plus MgCO3. So we'll use a bit of a trick here to make it easier. Let's count the atoms up, though. We have one magnesium, two chlorines, two potassiums. And then because we have this carbonate here and here with these double displacement reactions, if you have the same polyatomic ion on both sides, you can just count it as one thing. So we have one CO3 or one carbonate ion. On the product side, we have one magnesium, one chlorine, one potassium, and then one carbonate. When we look at the equation, it's pretty close. If we could double the chlorine and the potassium, we'd have two of those, that would balance the equation. And it's pretty easy because K and Cl, they're together. Put a coefficient of two in front of KCl. We have one times two for the potassium, that'll give us two. So we've balanced the potassium atoms. Two, it applies to everything. So we have our one chlorine times two. That'll give us two chlorines and we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's very helpful with these types of equations. If you have a CO3 here and here, count it as one thing, it just makes things a lot neater and you're usually more accurate. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for MgCl2 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.